Hey everybody, Mike here. Welcome to my channel. Uh, today's video is really not going to be necessarily a mod. It's actually going to be more of a repair. Uh, it's something that's been broken since the day I bought the car almost a year ago. And uh, I don't really use it that often, but it's kind of annoying that it's broken. Uh, there was a guy selling a part for it on uh, on Facebook, so I took advantage of that. I think it was 10 or 15 bucks something. I don't even remember. Um, but anyway, that, that uh, part that needs to be fixed is... Uh, pretty much prone to almost every solstice and sky and Opal GT that's out there and uh, it's one of these things that it's not a matter of, uh, of if it's gonna break it's a matter of when and no I'm not talking about the water pump knock on wood nothing's happened to mine unless the previous owners already fixed it but um, anyway that repair that I'm talking about is the side cup holder that's on the passenger side near the foot well and as you can see here mine is missing the little round part that goes right here that kind of holds the cup in there uh, funny quick story the day that I picked up my car um, my wife was in the passenger side and we decided to go to a fast food place get something uh, quick to eat and something to drink we didn't know this was broken my wife puts her cup in here total full of iced tea and sure enough as soon as I take off it tipped over filled up the um, I didn't fill it up it kind of went all over her leg and in the thing uh, in the um, passenger side wheel well here and she was not a happy camper let me tell you and that's when I discovered that hey I'm actually missing a part so um, that being said I'm going to go ahead and uh, try to take this thing out of here and um, I have the part all ready to go I'm going to see how it fits and hopefully get this thing repaired quickly okay so now from what I understand all I really need to do is push this side in um, and it'll kind of angle it and hopefully I'll push it in enough that I can pull it out from the other side uh, if not, I'll have to go and get in underneath the um, the gear shift here and maybe push it from behind. But I'm going to go ahead and see if I can pull it out of here uh, on its own just by pushing this side in. And here we go there. And let me see if I can do this with one hand. Hopefully just pull it right out. And sure enough, hold on one second. It actually feels like it's stuck on something. So you know what, let me go ahead and put the camera down. Let me see if I can get this thing out of here without any problems. And there we have it. Actually, I see what happened is the uh, it was actually getting caught on this little piece of tape slash felt kind of doodad here. So, um, so anyway, it was that easy just to go ahead and push it in, pull this sucker out, and I am ready to go ahead and take it apart and make its repair. Okay, so unfortunately, I don't have the right um, screwdriver, or torque screw, or whatever this thing is to take these little screws out so I am heading off to the auto parts store um, with this uh, cup holder and see if I can pick one up Alright, so I'm back from the auto parts store. I got my uh, Torx bits here that I'm going to be putting in with my screwdriver uh, to take out these little screws that are on here. I believe it's the second one. We actually checked this at the auto parts store to make sure it was the right size. And just as a reference, it looks like it's a T10 sized uh, Torx bit that I'm using to open it up the, uh, the screws. And then actually I need uh, two hands, so I'm just going to go ahead and loosen, uh, loosen these three screws and take this apart. Alright, so I have the screws out, and it looks like I just have to kind of take this apart. I saw a video, I only saw one video on um, on YouTube, it looked pretty easy. He didn't even have this on there, so I think he cut out a couple of parts, but anyway, let me go ahead and peel this back, and then the two pieces should separate, but I'm sure it's not going to be quite that easy for me, because nothing ever is.
Alright. Something got loose and it finally opened up. So it looks like uh, I got it apart in the two pieces. I think it was just kind of all gunked in there from probably people's drinks and stuff like that. It's just all kind of gooky. The way this works, this piece actually, when it goes in, pushes up this bottom part, which slides in and locks it in place. This part, which I actually purchased, the one end of it goes inside this hole right here. And then the other, you can see this little tab right here, slides along this rail that's right here. So the way it works is this goes inside there, like so. And then as it's being closed, it should be pushing this, this piece all the way in like that. However, it's a really tight fit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sand this down a little bit, not to make it so snug so it moves a little easier into that hole. So hopefully that kind of helps it out. Okay, so I did a lot more sanding on this piece here that I purchased and it does actually slide a lot smoother in this section. Actually, let me flip it around so you can see it. In here it actually is a lot smoother than it was before. And I also did some cleaning up of this rail right here that this other uh, tab kind of slides in. So I cleaned this out a little bit more, cleaned the top part, and I also, like I said, sanded this piece here. So uh, let me go ahead and see how it works. Now the way you put this together, real quick, as you can see there's an actual spring right here, and then there's this piece that kind of um, sticks out there that, that kind of gets hooked on to the bottom piece here. So if you look at these gears, actually there's a gear there, and there's this uh, kind of end piece here, you want to make sure that that part of the spring goes inside there so it kind of hooks on there and that's what causes it to uh, have its springiness, I guess. So anyway, so we kind of put that on and what I'm going to do is close this all up and put it together, make sure it sticks in there so now it's all kind of together. And I'm going to go ahead and put the top back on and actually mark it top. Kind of temporarily put it in there for now, take a look at it. Here slides out, pushes back in, slides out, pushes back in. So, so far so good with that. We'll see once I put the screws back in um, if it stays nice and smooth. Hopefully it does. We'll go ahead and see. So I'm going to go ahead and put the uh, screws back in and we should be uh, good to go as far as putting it back in, the, in my sky. Actually I put that all together and one thing I forgot to do, and I'm not sure if this makes that big of a difference or not, but I'm going to go ahead and um, add some powdered graphite to the rail area here maybe I'll smoothen it out a little bit and put it back together again Alright, so screws are in. Let's see how it works. Uh, okay, it's still kind of tight. Let me loosen the screw a little bit here. Loosen the 
this one here a little bit. You don't want these to be too tight. Otherwise, it's not going to, um, it's going to kind of push on the sides and keep it from popping up, which it seems to be doing anyway. So I'm not sure. I don't want to loosen these too much because then it kind of defeats the purpose of having them in there in the first place. Oh, you know what? There's something still catching on it, but you know, I'm actually not that concerned about it to be honest. So if we end up using this uh, as an actual cup holder, push the button in and then we'll just have to pull it open. And then the other thing too, to keep it from breaking if yours isn't broken already, uh, if you do the squeeze or the, the finger thumb pinch here, it actually pushes it in a lot better. So you kind of help it get that uh, piece started going into that rail to begin with. So anyway, I'm fine with that. I mean, it's not perfect but at least now I do have the round piece on here so I can actually put a cup in there as well so that being said let me go ahead and I'm going to install this back in the uh, back in the car and see how it works alright so I'm ready to go ahead and uh, put the cup holder back in hopefully it's a nice easy peasy push in and I'm done with it so let me go ahead and do that There we go. Uh, all right. Okay, so it looks like it's working. Of course, not as smoothly as when I did it when it wasn't in here. Looks like I have to push it, and then I'm able to pull it out, and you kind of squeeze it to go back in. So maybe, all this graphite going everywhere, maybe um, once it's used a few times, it'll be, uh, it'll smoothen out a little bit, but probably not going to be using it that often in, in the first place, but it is nice to know that it is not missing that piece anymore, and can be used if I need to. So there you go, that is how you uh, fix the side cup holder uh, for the most part. Uh, if you can find it, if you're missing that piece, I will try, like I said, put it in the description uh, where you can get that piece to below. Um, so if nothing else, now you know how that cup holder works, how to take it out, how to put it back in, and uh, pretty much the inner workings. It's not that complicated. I think it's almost over-engineered, but um, hey, I'm not an engineer, so maybe it wasn't. So anyway, that being said, this video is over. Hopefully you liked it and hopefully it provided some good information for you. Uh, if you do like this video, please go ahead and subscribe. I'll be coming out with other ones as I make them uh, with different mods or repairs or maybe even some fun stuff uh, with my sky as well. So if you're a Solstice owner uh, or just basically a Kappa platform owner and uh, you like what I'm doing or kind of want to see how certain things are done, uh, please subscribe, hit that like button, share with your friends. And if you have any comments, questions, or anything, absolutely leave them below. Uh, I try to look at all of them and try to answer the ones that I can. So that being said, have a great day.